Hello, hello everyone. I'm seeing everyone pop into the comments there. There's Diana and Gail and Julia and Krista, hello. Kathy and Amy, hello. And I know Lori and there's a few others. Kathy, Laura, Susie, hello everyone. Thank you, Miss Lori. Damari, hello, hello, Roxy and Sandy. <clears throat> There's Carol, hello, Carol. Hello, Erica. And Je uh, let's see here, Joy. My eyesight is getting bad. Karen, hello, my name is Kelly. For those of you that don't know, normally you would just see my hands. And so we've changed over here to YouTube so I can kind of sit and chat with you all and we can all be together in one place. And it has made it a heck of a lot easier on me just to have everything all in one area. Let's see here. Looking forward to the new release on Monday. Love the pansy dies on my list. Love the sneak peeks. I am so glad and let's see here while we're at it and while everybody is popping in uh so on tuesday we did a sneak peek and i have it here to show everybody a sneak peek of our new happy hearts release which will be available monday night on the 16th and that is after our release party we will have a release party monday night same time same place i'll go through the whole release and show you some sample cards that I have made and uh, some die cuts and things. Um, but this is the card and this is the pansies that uh, one of the comments uh, we're talking about there. And let's see here. Yay, release coming through a little fuzzy. Let's see here. Okay, I'm going to try... I don't know if I'm going to be able to adjust it. I don't think I can adjust it from here. Hmm. Maybe it'll get better when I go down to my desk view. So let's go ahead and try that. Um, so let's go to the desk view and see if this looks any clearer to you guys. I tried to zoom in a little bit. We are going to be working with some stencils tonight and some other... Let's see here. Are you still looking at the new release on your desk? Uh, yes, we're still doing the new release. Let's see here. I think it will be clear on the desk. Uh, looks okay to me. All right. Kathy says it looks good here. Okay. I'm hoping that this looks okay. And I can hold this up. Sometimes the, um, the writing and the sentiment stuff get a little blurry when I move it around. But let me hold this up and hold it still so you guys can look at it. So this is what someone was mentioning about the pansies. This is our new Lovely Layers pansy. And I did a I did the whole card on Tuesday night. And you can always go back on our YouTube channel and catch that in the replays, the live replays. But I showed you guys how I started with just white die cuts and then blended on color. These are our new opulent frames dies. And I'm going to be using a couple of these again tonight just to create a little cute background. And then, of course, tonight I'm going to be using our hearts in bloom layering stencils to create a background for a cute little critter that we have cover, uh, coming out. So this is a four stencil set. And what's so cute about this is it does have hearts. You could always leave, you know, some of the hearts out if you don't want the hearts in there, but change up the colors. You could do, you know, yellows and oranges. You could do blue hearts. You can change it up and change um, you know, instead of it being necessarily a Valentine type card, you can make it a friendship card, a birthday card, um, you know, whatever you need. But it's a really fun uh, stencil set. And so I've got all the stencils here on my desk. And then I've got my die cuts all ready to go over here so we can um, 
put together a fun card. So this was the first sneak peek. You can see all the great details in those die cuts in that pansy, all those embossing lines. That is not penciled in. That is just pressed into the paper. So a lot of fun with the new Lovely Layers pansy. Okay, so without further ado here, let's go ahead and let's get started with some stenciling. And what I have done just to keep my paper into place is I have, you can see here, I've used a little bit of that highlighter or easy C tape to hold everything down. And that's just going to make it easy for me to butt my stencil up in the corner of my little stencil map and then blend on the color and be ready to go. So let's see here if I can get this picked up off of this mat. Okay, so I'm going to start out with the large hearts. And it's going to show you here on the layering guide what it looks like when you blend on each layer. So the large heart layer is going to give me the hearts and then the centers of what's going to be some little flowers later on. And so I'm going to set that aside. I'm going to butt my stencil up. I'm going to get my sleeves pulled up so we can get all ready to go here. And I want to make sure that I don't have, miss any comments. Okay, so the, I'm going to do the hearts. And this is going to be more of kind of more Valentine colors. Now, I have to tell you that I was inspired by a card of one of our design team members and her name is Leanne West. And so I cannot take full credit for this design, but I wanted to show you how cute these stencils are with the little die cuts and things that we're going to be uh, creating. Um, this is Lumberjack Plaid. It's just a great red. And I just wiped down and cleaned my br blending brushes. So I'm actually going to start over here and then start blending on because I know I don't want to make a big mess. So these are going to be pretty dark red. But like I said, I have I have a video that is going to come out here on YouTube next week when we do our little sneak peeks of the release. So our little introduction videos of all the products. And I do a video using this stencil set and use totally different colors. So I use like uh, kind of a dusty pink like your... Let me think, what color is that? I always forget the name of the color. I like a tattered rose that's more of a kind of um, almost a muddy, dusty kind of pink. And let's see here. I want to get these a little bit darker in there. And I don't mind that some of the areas, I don't. you can probably see on the screen, some of the areas are a little bit lighter. Some of them are a little bit darker. That's okay by me. Okay, and then I see on the, on the screen that this color is coming across very orange. It's not or that orange in real life. So, okay, so I'm going to set that aside. I'm going to pick up this stencil, and then you can see we have the great hearts, and then we have the centers of the little flowers here and there. Now, if I put my red brush away up here and I grab my stencil number two. And this is where we're going to start in with some of the little flowers in that design. So we're going to start with some little petals and things, and it's going to kind of build on itself. So I'm going to butt that right up in the corner again. Just make sure that everything's looking good. And you can kind of see here, do you see where that's going to be the center of the flower and there's open space? Let me see if I can't pick that up. There's open space right here by my middle finger there in the stencil. And you can kind of eyeball to make sure that, yep, everything is looking good. Everything's lining up nicely. And then I think for this one, I want to do, let's do worn lipstick. So the background is going to be kind of pinks and reds, and then we're going to add in some green leaves later. So I'm going to go in with the worn lipstick, and we're going to kind of have that pretty kind of pinky color, and I'm just going to hit all of 
those open areas. And there's some smaller little hearts. Let's see. Hello. Let's see. Shelly Bell. Is that our Shell Bell? Is that your name on there? Sometimes when I read people's handles, I'm not for sure what your name would be. Let me move this over just a little bit so I can get these little hearts here to the side. And I'm kind of turning my brush in both directions so I can get down into the little nooks and crannies of the design. And then this one's all ready. So I can kind of lift it up. And then you can see how now we have the bright red of the centers. And then we're ready to move on. We've got some kind of hot pink. And then we're going to go with a lighter pink. So the lighter pink is spun sugar. So let me get grab my next stencil in the set. And this is uh, layer three. It's going to be a little bit hard to see, but layer three. And it says more petals and details. So I'm going to butt that up right in the corner there and then get my spun sugar load up my brush here and then let's see here I want to make sure that everything is going to be lined up nicely and I'm just double checking so I can double check here to make sure it butts up I can double check right here to make sure everything butts up just to make sure that I'm not shifting anything as I move it around that and there's lots of little polka dots and little holes in this one and it just started pouring outside someone was mentioning I think Lori and somebody else was mentioning that it's raining at their house and it just started pouring here I can hear it outside my craft room window we go I'm just hitting all those little open designs there the little petals here we go and I'm gonna move my fingers around if you're more comfortable using like a pixie spray or something like that you could do that to hold everything down I don't mind some crafters don't like to get their fingers inky I don't really mind mine getting dirty. Okay, I think we're good to go there. So that's the spun sugar. So let's pick that up. If I can get it. There we go. Okay, so we now we've got all that fun red and pink and a hot pink. It's all coming together. Each layer is more and more cute. Okay, so for our green, I'm just gonna pull in good old mode lawn. I'm gonna butt that right up in the corner again. And again, I can kind of make sure, because we're gonna have a little stem here, I can make sure that all those little holes and places that fit in and nestle into all those little flowers are gonna be lined up good, and they all are. So let's do some green. And I'm not pressing just super hard here with the green. Maybe darker in some spots and lighter in some spots. And I'm just going to twirl my little blending brush here back and forth. And I kind of like the variation, especially in the green, because it kind of makes the leaves look leafy go keep moving around here and a little bit right there let's see here if I have any missing areas and I think that's going to be pretty good I can kind of hit maybe right up on where those join in with the little flowers to make them a little darker okay now let's pick it up and look. And the nice thing about having everything taped down and using my stencil mat is I can butt it back up in there if I need to. Do you see how stinking cute that is? 
Look at that. Look at that background. Okay. So this would be super cute even for Mother's Day springtime cards. Okay. So I'm going to first wipe down my inky fingers. Okay. All right. And then I'm going to put my bl brush away so I don't make a mess. And then I am going to peel this up and carefully peel back my tape here. And then I'm going to set this whole background off to the side and let that distress oxide. All of these inks were oxides. I'm going to let them do their thing and kind of dry down and set up and seep into that paper. But you can see now where we have like the variation in color of the leaves and darker in some spots and lighter in some spots. Even around the edges of the hearts here are a little bit darker. So it's fun. It's a fun little stencil set. Okay, I'm going to set that aside while we're working on our other parts and pieces. And then let's clean up my mess here, my inky mess. And then now we get to put together a cute little critter. Someone mentioned the other night that they hope that they see cute critters. And we have a new die set. Let me get all my little pieces. Let me pull my whole little bowl here out. We have a new uh, die set called um, Heart Hugs. This is one of three critters in that set. And it is a layering porcupine, not a porcupine hedgehog. It's a layering hedgehog and their little arms are open so they can hold a little heart. Now there's also in this set, there's also balloons. You can make the heart into a balloon. There's round like birthday balloons. Um, so you can use these in lots of different ways. Let me give you another little sneak peek of another little guy uh, that is in this set. And so this is the heart hugs bear. You can see super easy. It's not um, super complicated to put them together. There's just the eyes and the nose, a little heart. His, you can see here where his little hands are open. And I've simply added a little bit of shading here and there to just add more details to him. But I'm going to show you how to make a uh, and build a cute little um hedgehog and so and then there's one other critter i'll leave that as the other critter as a surprise okay so i'm going to put that aside let's start with the outermost layer which is his little spikies and i'm going to take and this is chocolate brown cardstock Okay. Yes, the stencil set. Sherry, Sherry said, I'm, I'm usually not someone that likes hearts, but the stencil set is cute. You're exactly right. I'm um, not real hearty, lovey-dovey either, but that stencil set is very versatile and you can use it for lots of different occasions. And so um, you could even go in and leave the big hearts out you could stencil the little centers of the flowers with one of your detail brushes, leave the big hearts out and even do maybe the little hearts with the flowers. Now the pattern will be a lot more open because you wouldn't have the big hearts, but it's going to give you a totally different look if you just wanted to leave those out and you would just have scattered flowers back there. And so lots of different ways. Okay. For his little spikies, on his uh, back, I'm going to use a white gel pen and I'm simply going to start. Ooh. Okay. So you guys are hearing my little buddy, Penny. And Penny, it's okay. And it's thundering outside and she hates the thunder. And so she's going to tell us all about how scary that the big bad thunder is outside, but I'm simply just flicking messy little flicks and it's okay, it's okay, Penny. It's just thunder. It's okay. Um, messy little flicks and all of these uh, little animal die cuts, they have the emboss line in 
uh, the background piece so you know exactly kind of where to stick all their little body parts. Even the eyes and the nose have little areas so you know where to adhere the little die cuts. And okay, I've got that side. And then let's pull out and just do some messy little flicks here. But my little buddy, Penny, and I've been chatting to Miss Lori today, who's there in the comments about she's a pet lover as well. But um, we're we're a dog and pet and bird lovers here at my house. And Penny hates rain and thunderstorms. Yes, she's guarding me against the storm. Exactly. Yes, we're getting the storm that was probably in Atlanta earlier. Um. So yes, she freaks out for with thunderstorms. Okay, so do you see all his little spikies now? So stinking cute, adding that. Now let's add a little bit of something to his little body that I cut out of cream colored cardstock. And I think I want to add maybe a little bit of a shadow. And I'll show you how you can simply kind of zhuzh up your die cuts a little bit. This is an E31. And I'm going to go kind of just add a little bit right around his little arms, his little paws, where he's going to be holding some things. And then we can kind of give it a simple little trace around here and skim maybe the top of his little head and right down this side. And then I'm gonna add a little bit of a shadow right above where his little nose is gonna be stuck down. And then for a little bit extra, I'm gonna take my gathered twigs blending brush and we're just gonna blend on just a little bit here and leave his belly area that cream color and just add a little bit of color and dimension to him okay so let's let's uh stay with that let's go ahead and do his little eyeballs let me get my liquid adhesive Let's see here. Get my glue going here. And then as I mentioned earlier, all the little eye spots and things are there embossed into the paper. So I'm barely gonna add just a tiny little dot of the adhesive. And then I can take my tweezers to the die cuts and place those in their open spots just like that and then we'll get if i can pick up these little eyeballs there's one and then i left this one stuck into the die so i wouldn't lose an eyeball so i'm going to pop it out I can get it out of there. There we go. And then I'm going to pick it up with my tweezers and then put it down. Okay, so now we've got him all put together, all his little parts and pieces. Now let's add some little details onto him. So I'm gonna use, let's try R30, and we're gonna put some little cheeks on him. So we're gonna make some little pink cheeks out here in his little cheeky area. And then I wanna take my white gel pen and I'm gonna add little dots 
in his eye, and I may need to rub that off. Sometimes you got to get your gel pin, there we go, going just a little bit, and that's really cute. And then I can add even some little cute white dots to his little cheeks, just like that. And then we can add, you could add brown to his ears. I'm going to put pink in his little ears like that. And then, as I mentioned before, I fell in love with Leanne West's card. Now, you guys haven't seen it yet because it's not release time yet. But she made the cutest little, like, crooked smile. This is a black. It's a Sharpie pen. It just happens to be a little honeybee stamps, really fine tip Sharpie. And so I'm going to add his crooked little smile there but look how cute he is okay and then before I glue him down I'm going to pop up and kind of release his little paws just a little bit so I can tuck the little heart in I can add a little bit of liquid adhesive and then put that, nestle it right into the little open spaces. And now he's got his little background and everything is all ready to go. Just like that. Isn't he cute? Okay, so I've got his little red heart. And I'm going to add a little bit of white too. Now and all this is just little extras. You know, you don't have to do any of this. I'm going to add a little bit of white there, just a little fun. And then I'm going to go ahead and glue the heart into his little paws. Just nestle it down in there. Okay, so now we've got him all completed. I'm going to set him aside. I'm going to clean up the ink we have here. Let's see, the white gel pen adds so much detail. It, it does. It Just a little bit. And Leanne's, I have to tell you, is even cuter than this. Um, so I can't wait for you guys to see that. Okay, so next, as I mentioned before, I'm going to use those opulent frame dies. And that's the same die set that I used on this card, but I I mentioned it Tuesday night. This die set for the, the frames in the background back here, it starts out with this large die that's A2 size. You can see it butts up against the corners of my card. So it's going to stretch out over the whole card base. It's four and a quarter by five and a half. And then it goes down in size. It's a stacking layering set. And so it's going to go down, it's going to go from this size all the way down to a little tiny where you could put like a little sentiment or something on it. So for tonight's card, I am using two dies from that set. Let me get this pulled back here. So I'm using this one that has the little scallops and the details on the edges and then I'm using the a little, a smaller piece. Now, this is a piece that you guys haven't seen before, but it has this really nice, like, pierce detail and the little uh, swoopies on the side. Now, this I just cut out of our um, Sweet Stacks rectangles. So let me show you those. These are already, we've had these for a long time, but I wanted this piece of the gingham paper that's going to go back in there. And so I just chose whatever rectangle was going to be the best size for back there and cut that out. Okay, so let's go ahead and start adhering this down. And I can add this on. And this is new gingham from our Happy Hearts Gingham paper pad. And I'm just gonna add that right into the little window that we have there. Just like so. And then I'm gonna add, I need to find my adhesive re 
eraser I've got little schmutz or something on my cardstock. That's a little better. Okay, and then I'm going to adhere this white piece. And I'm just going to set it right in the center. And I'm actually going to hold all of it up. That way I can kind of shimmy it around with that liquid adhesive a little bit and get that exactly where I want it to be. There we go. Now I think our little hedgehog, I think I want to pop him up a little bit. He's going to be nestled kind of right in here. And so I'm going to use some of our tabbed foam dots, just like so, and then use those little tabs and pop that off the back. And he's going to nestle kind of right in here. And then before I adhere anything else down, I'm going to do just like Leanne, and I'm going to wrap a little bit of red twine around. And get that there. Let me find my scissors. Let's see here. I've got to get those foam dots. I'm out. Yes, they're they're my most favorite um, foam dots because of the tabs. I have really large hands. And so sometimes, you know, if you've got the little foam dots or whatever that ha that don't have tabs, they're harder to get off. I really struggle sometimes with getting, and I don't want that to curl up too much. I struggle with getting the tabs pulled off if they, um, the backers pulled off if they don't have tabs. And so now I'm spoiled with our honeybee ones. And I'm just going to fuss with this twine just for a second. Use my tweezers as an extra hand. And then I'm just going to make a simple little tie here. Let's see here. Lori lives in Washington. Let's see what's it. Yes, Lori lives in Washington. I miss, we used to live in Spokane and I miss it. I miss Washington a lot. I would move back there in a heartbeat. Okay, so now we've got our little hedgehog panel. He's all done. Okay. And then here is our background. So you can see how he's going to nestle right in there. I am going to trim this down. So... I always, and this is just personal preference. Let's see, I think I can get rid of my stencil mat. I always trim my stenciled panels down just because I think that it kind of cleans up the edges just a little bit. But it's personal preference. If you want it to run, um, you know, all the way to the edge of your card base, you could do that as well. So I'm just trimming this off and I'm going to cut it down. The finished size is going to be five and a quarter by four. Okay. So we got that trimmed down. We have this little guy that's going to rest in there. So we have the vellum and the gingham and our cute little hedgehog. And then we have a Move all my markers. I'm just going to put it on a white card base, but I think a red or a pink card base would be adorable as well. You know, you could pull out the colors of, you know, whatever colors that you used when you stencil. Okay, so um, I think I'm going to adhere these down and then we'll do the sentiment. So let me go ahead and put some liquid adhesive back here. 
And so you guys, let's see, are you getting all the rain? Oh, you guys are just a chatting away in there. Is the screen, is the picture on the screen, you guys tell me this, is it blurry to you or is it just me? Because I can try to adjust it a little bit. Let's see here. It's just a little bit blurry to me, a little blurry. Let's see here if I can adjust it. Okay, and then let me play with the focus. You guys tell me that's a lot better, huh? Is that better? Not blurry. My daughter used to have a hedgehog. Stinky. I've heard that. Um, tell me if that looks any better. I widened the screen a little bit and tried to, um, let's see. It's your crafty. Thank you. Is that Lisa or Melissa there at Honeybee? It's my crafty haze. Yes. I'll, I'll, we'll, we'll say that. I'm hoping that's a little, a little better. Yes. This it's smaller now because I had it zoomed in. And I thought that zooming out may help it clear up just a little bit. Looks way better. Okay. Lisa. Okay, perfect. Crafty Haze. Yes. That It's just me here in my Crafty Haze here in my craft room. Just chatting with all my friends. Okay. So I've just got a uh, scrap white paper. And we're going to do the sentiment now. Oh, oh, I was on. This is what happens when Kelly talks as we get sidetracked but i'm going to go ahead and do the sentiment since i'm in sentiment mode okay so our sentiment is from a new sentiment set that's called um you're a keeper and so it's got all kinds of just cute little sentiments even it's got friendship your friendship keeps me going so thankful you're my friend hello crafty friend Happy birthday. Love you lots is what I'm going to stamp tonight. You are loved. You're the best. You're a keeper. You're so kind. Love you. So it's thought it's not just Valentiney, which I am um, loving this release because it's not um, just about it's not all Valentiney. It can be used for everything. And so I'm loving that. Okay, I'm going to use my Versafine, Onyx Black. Let's see here. Let's get that really nice and crisp. Put that over there. And peel this back. And then this has the coordinating dies as well. Now I'm going to go ahead and hit this really fast just for time's sake. Let's see here. Hit the thumbs up for Kelly. Thank you. I'll take your thumbs up any day. Okay, let's see. Love you lots. So I'm going to, and it's got that this sentiment set has um, the font on it is a little quirky. So it's not like lovey dovey, elegant. Um, it's a little bit like it's hand printed. It's a little quirky, so it can kind of be used for fun birthdays or whatever. All right, I'm gonna pull down my Bitty Buzz cutter. Put down my little base plate. Let's see, Mindy, don't miss me tonight, Mindy. Run this through here. Let's see, she only has 15. Let's raise that number. Oh, you guys are awesome. I like it here on YouTube. YouTube, I don't know if you guys have noticed, like some of you that have been with us for a long time and we're over on Instagram and Facebook, but is YouTube a lot more laid back or is it just my craziness? Like it feels like we're, it feels a little like we're not rushed. Like it's a little bit more laid back. Um, and I don't know, that could be just me. Okay, so I'm going to add now, get back to my adhesive 
on here. And I'm not going to put it all the way to the edges because I don't want that liquid adhesive to, sh oops, to show through the vellum. But I'm going to lay this down carefully. And I can kind of shimmy him around. And then I'm going to raise this up and I'm going to make sure that this little guy is all nice and straight and really press that into the background. Let's see here, fun card, the stencil. Yeah, you put the stencil, this is a great stencil set. It's a really, really good one. Let me get my little tie here. And then I'm gonna add this guy. He's gonna go like right in here. And so I'm just going to add a little bit of liquid adhesive and he's going to go right across the little hedgehog's tummy. I'm going to glue it just like that. There go. And I'm just pressing this so it can grab hold. And I don't even mind that my little twine kind of goes over the top like that. Okay, so now he's all done. Let's see, what's the stencil set called? Okay, it's called, so you guys can put it on your wish list. Let me see if I can get it without the glare. It's called Hearts in Bloom Stencil Set. And I know it's a little bit hard to see this. I'm trying to get it to focus. Hearts in Bloom Stencil Set. But this is the layering guide for it. And then this is what it looks like when it is. Let me leave him down here. When it's stenciled. See the background? It's got flowers and hearts. And so think about all the ways that you could use this stencil. Even for Mother's Day, I think. And birthday cards. Valentine's, obviously. Um... But I think you could just pop a really fun sentiment on there with the background and then you've got it all good to go. Let's see here. So much easier to watch and I can watch Chicago PD at the same time. I love that, Lori. Okay. Let's see here. Is there add-ons for the critters on what they hold like birthday and holiday icons? Just LM. Okay. So... Um, let me show you, let me, let me give you a little, you're going to get like a extra sneak peek tonight. I'm going to show you the other hedgehog card that I made. Okay. Do you see him holding the little, the heart balloon? Okay. Same hedgehog. Um, and you're also getting a little sneak peek at one of our new 3d embossing folders and some new foiling sentiments, but this is the same hedgehog. There is a balloon set that is in this die set, and I already showed everybody the, the little bear. So it is a bear, a hedgehog, and then another little critter that I'll keep as a surprise for next week. But um, all in one die set. So the die set has the hearts, so you can put the hearts in their hands, and then there are round like birthday balloons in the die set as well. So it's not just hearts. I did this as more kind of Valentine-y looking, but I could have just done a birthday balloon or even a grouping of birthday balloons. And then see, so you've got like a bear or a hedgehog or the other little surprise critter, you know, holding birthday balloons or holding hearts or whatever. But all of these little critters, the die set is called heart hugs. So I hope that that helps. Let's see. The bear looks like an otter. You could totally make him into an otter. You can make it into whatever you want to, I guess. Let's see here. Um, balloons. Yes. But, you know, if you've got a, let's say you have a um, stamp set that has birthday gifts or something in it, you could, um, I'm trying to focus it a little bit too. You could stamp and color like a little birthday gift and put down into their little hands. 
you could really put anything you wanted to in there, but a little, um, like a little addition set for their little hands would be super cute. I'll have to put that on the list, the wish list. Wouldn't be blurry for me if my glasses were clean. I hear you. Let's see here. Okay. So I'm going to go back over here to front view. Let's see. I want to make a white, yes, white polar bear. You could make him, you know, you could do a darker, like a little black bear and have, you know, different colors, eyes and noses. Um, and of course I, we fell in love with Leanne's card. I saw it because I get to see all of our beautiful design team members cards. And I said, I have, I have to make the little hedgehog card. Is that not so freaking adorable? He's so cute. Hey, Connie. Let's see here. It's fine on YouTube. Perfect. Big lollipop. Yes, of course. Um, let's see here. Excited for next week. I'm so glad you guys are excited. And then, of course, there's lots in this release. So if you like florals, there's tons of florals in, in this release. Um, there's this little cutesy set. Um, lots of pretty dyes. Let me think here. Um, are there more? Oh, there's more lovely layers, you know, that you guys are not seeing here. I'm just showing you one set, the pansies. Um, seriously, love, love, love that stencil and the hedgy. I do too. The stencil, the first time I played with it, um, I fell in love with it as well. And I can show you, I'll show you that one as well. I'll cheat and show you. We're so close to the release. Okay. So do you see where I mix the colors up? And you're going to see some of our new wax stuff here too. But I mixed the colors up. I did pinks and greens and a little bit of a uh, red. But that is where I was telling you about that I did the tattered rose because I wanted it to match the wax. And so, um, yeah, but you totally change the colors up depending on what kind of card, you know, you want to make. So... But you can see how you could do, um, oh, you could do purples and blues and greens to make a birthday card. Let's see here. Mauve. Yes. Love the floating hearts. Okay. Love. Everybody loves the lovely layers. Uh, need baby critters to, oh, wouldn't that be cute? Baby critters to put in their arms. Let's see here. Okay. I think we're done. I think we're done for this evening. Okay, so I don't want you guys to forget to come back and join me on Monday night. So Monday the 16th is our release party. It is 7 o'clock Central here on YouTube. I'm going to show the whole release. And um, we're going to do prizes and giveaways and all that good stuff. And then right after the release party will be when um, everything's available. Let's see. It's a craft date. Thank you. Come back. Come back. I want to see you all again. Okay. All right. So let's go ahead and do our giveaway this evening. Lisa is going to put our giveaway winner in the um, comments there. So I'll be watching for that. Let's see. Mary's got it on her calendar. Um... Let's see here. Uh, Diana, I hope you're not working too. Thanks for the live. You're welcome, Mom Snoozy. Can't wait for Monday. Congrats to Deb Sherby. You're the winner tonight. So, Deb, you have won a $25 gift card. If you'll email me, Kelly, K-E-L-L-E-Y at honeybeestamps.com, I will email you your gift card. And then I will see you guys all back here on Monday night. Now, on Sunday, set your a little reminder. Make sure that you are subscribed here at our YouTube channel. YouTube channel. Sunday is when um, our videos come out that you're going to see, you know, day one's products and I make a card with day one stuff. And then day two um, is Monday. And then we'll meet back here on Monday night. So and then make sure you check out the blog and you'll start seeing everything from our design team members. So Sunday is when it's going to start getting busy. All right, you guys, thank you guys so much for joining me and I will see you back here on Monday night 
And I hope to um, see you all in the chat on Monday. Have a great weekend, a great Friday tomorrow. Bye, guys.